They say, do what you love and the money will follow. You're about to meet a local businesswoman who turned her love of chocolate into a thriving business. She had some help from the Great Lakes Women's Business Council, and our Paula Tutman was there for a truly sweet celebration of success. When you walk into the Sweet Thoughts kitchen, prepare to be amazed. Look at these beautiful chocolates. They look so delicate, and they're so beautifully wrapped. And I want you to take a closer look. That's not wrapping. That is artistry. But we all know it takes more than just talent to make a business. And Lisa has figured it out. Of course, her involvement in organizations like the Great Lakes Women's Business Council has really been pivotal because of the way they've been able to really help grow her business. I'm so pleased that I've been able to MC their luncheon where they honor other businesses and organizations that are helping to grow women's businesses. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. Wait one second. Please help me to welcome our mistress of ceremonies, the truly incomparable Paula Tutman. Before we get going, though, I want to take you back. And that's back at the kitchen where Lisa Walker's artistry begins. She started off in construction with her husband, believe it or not. We drove together from West Bloomfield all the way downtown. And we spent probably 12 to 14 hours together a day. So I needed some, an outlet. <laughs> Lisa took a chocolatier class and got hooked. She found a flair for turning chocolate into art pieces. Beautiful, fragile, delicious, with sinfully outrageous flavors. Lavender, sweet potato pie, curry coconut, um, wild orange, um, chambord and raspberry. But the real appeal is how she spins chocolate into glass. Well, not exactly glass, but it looks like it. Delicately hand-painted, hand-splattered, hand-crafted, hand-sprinkled. All edible. After she fills her chocolates with ganaches, the next step is releasing them from the mold, where she can customize colors and shapes. And look, there's that glossy glass look. All edible. What really helped her get going, though, was the support she got from the Great Lakes Women's Business Council. They have helped me to accelerate my business. They have helped her spin one beautiful business. All edible. Well, another great conference and what a great debut for Lisa's candies. I mean, honestly, I think she's got a pretty delicious. Mm-hmm. Definitely a delicious future ahead of her. <laughs> my mouth is full. Paula Tupman, Local 4.